Hey YouTube, it is Nicole here and in today's video I will be trying on, swatching and reviewing the new Ramen and Inum Square collaboration. So everything is black themed. Some of the products are black themselves, which is really interesting. But what I ordered are the two Better Than Eyes quads and burnt peony, burnt buckwheat flour. I got black balm, blur fudge tint, and bad berry, the glassing balm and berry in black. So on my right eye, I'm gonna be doing an eyeshadow look with buckwheat flour. I'm a little nervous about this palette being too warm. First, I really wanna dip into this little teddy bear color for a crease shade. This is wondrous. It's all dirty right now, but this brush is soft and beautiful and wondrous. We're gonna be using it. Yeah, I, I hate ruining the little like engravings. Oh wow, this color is so pretty right now. I wanna see this color by itself. So I'm gonna put that color on my lower lash line. Okay, so the other brush I use under my eye is the Picasso 239 brush in the Collezioni series. And I think I'm gonna mix that same color in with the crease. And blend up the edges a little more. Yeah, I'm definitely really happy with this so that it's not too warm. This is also a really famous good brush and we're gonna be going in with that ashy color right above the teddy bear. I really like this color, but it was lighter than I thought. So I feel like I would prefer a lighter color in this palette. So with that same color, we're just gonna go under my eye with another C brush. I definitely need these cool browns in my life right now, so I'm really happy I got this. If you were more fair right now, it's definitely gonna be more warm. But now that with my tan, it's I really like these nice cool browns. This is just what a smudge brush looks like. I wouldn't recommend these honestly, but it, if you need something cheap, this set is perfect. So now I'm going in with the darkest shade. If I were to do this eyeshadow look every day, I would add a lighter color in there somewhere. So next I'll be trying on the beautiful burnt peony on my left eye. Hell yeah, first we're going in with this awesome grayish color. I'm a big grayish girl. I love grayish. These are, these are good eyeshadow palettes. I originally wasn't gonna get these. I don't know why, sometimes it just takes me a few weeks to like, you know, I try to convince myself, yeah, look, I really don't need this, but I'm definitely happy that I got these. And they're definitely really good for traveling too because they're so tiny. Same brushes as my other eye. That is a beautiful gray color. So now we're gonna go in with this darker mauve here. I'm going in with that same color under my eye here. Cool, it's like they're the same look but like different colors. Now I'm going in with the lightest shade, which is above the little hard planet. It personally me with my eye shape this area needs to be light for me i've tried to do some like halo kind of looks where it's like dark here and dark there and i never like it i'm gonna go again with the lighter color right here in the front and also just for shits and giggles i don't wear dark eyeshadow shades too much but i'm going in with the darkest Shade in this just to show you guys and just because I'm also curious. On the lash line, just to smoke it out. So I completed my eye makeup off camera. Tearing up from brightness. It 
it's time to try on the balloon bomb. I am so excited about this. <laughs> Pretty and natural. Look at that. It's so cool because I see the black in there. A lot of blushes just tend to make me tend to be too pigmented and just kind of make me look like I just drink a lot of alcohol. But this blush is so like faint and it's not gonna make me look like bright red. This is just what I was looking for. It's so natural. I love it. So next we're gonna try the Blur Fudge Tint in Bad Berry. Mm. Oh my god, we... They nailed this collection. They nailed it. Every berry color I would put on, or anything with red, it just, it looks so saturated, bright, dark. This is like a beautiful, like light toned down berry. The saturation's like perfect. It's not too purple, it's not too red. Oh my God, perfetto, brava. Very good job. Like I said in all my other videos, K-Beauty is really learning the color scale right now. And what I love about this formula as well is it is just so light, fluffy. Fudge is like the perfect name for this formula, but I would have to say this one. The consistency, the icing is thinner than the previous Blur Fudge tints, which I don't have a problem. I like it better like this. Last but not least, I'll be trying on the Glassing Melting Balm in Berry and Black. All right, let's, let's do it. Ooh, okay. So this product is a pH changing product, depending on your pH and temperature. so nice because it's not that crazy saturated berry but it's a blackberry this color is sexy okay so that concludes my review video Romans was the second Korean brand I've discovered second or third a few years ago and I'm proud of them for how much their products and color and color theory has evolved and I see myself wearing these daily even in the summertime they work on tan skin tones as well pretty excited even when I'm pale to wear these colors if you like Kate Beauty and you like Kate Beauty review videos and Kate Beauty makeup videos it's mostly what I do on my YouTube channel so give me a subscribe or like my video or something thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed hope you guys like these products hope you guys think about getting these products i highly recommend them it's just like very comfortable and wearable makeup okay thank you for watching goodbye